Another common question was um, that I got when I became into the, into the physician assistant program was, what are you going to do after the physician? Like, are you going to go to med school after? Or are you going to go to grad school after? Or something like that. And um, at first, it, because I told my family and I told um, people around me that I was going for med school, um, I felt like a need to like say like, oh, you know what, maybe I will do med school after. Just because like I felt this kind of pressure to, because people were like, oh, physician assistant, okay, well, what about med school? Because like, that's what people know. Um, so it was tough, but I realized that you know, a physician assistant program and the, physici the position itself is its own position. It is not a stepping stone into med school. It's not a stepping stone to become a physician. It's something that, that should be valued and it has its own role in healthcare. Um, physician assistants help patients, but they also help physicians. Right? They're the only people who have, like, directly help physicians by taking off some of their workload. And they are important to the Canadian health system. And so they should have the same, or they should have a lot of value put towards them. It shouldn't be something that um, is seen as um, something to get experience done and to like, use an interview for med school. Because if you apply to the PA program and you aren't actually interested in being a PA, then you're taking away that opportunity for someone else who really wants to. And some people apply to this program many times and don't get in, and you know, it's really unfortunate for them when someone else who gets in who doesn't really want to be a PA anyways um, takes that position away from them. And maybe that cycle they would have got in if you didn't accept or if you didn't apply. Um, but again, at the end of the day, it's, you have to do what's best for you um, and you have to find what you love. Uh, if you don't love what you're doing, we have the luxury now of like finding something that we love. That wasn't always here, I feel. Like, especially with, like, when I talked to my parents, they didn't follow what they loved. They followed what was practical, what would support the family. But now we have the privilege of following what we love. So I, I'm trying to take full advantage of that. Um, and I think you know, if, if one day I don't love being a PA, then I have to reevaluate things and I have to, to look at myself and say, like, what am I missing and how can I fill that hole, fill that gap? And yeah, at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's all being honest with yourself. Um, what do you want from life? Where do you see yourself in the future? And is what you're doing now helping that happen? Because yeah. um, this is one I got from a high school student. Mm -hmm. How do I convince my parents that PA is a worthwhile profession to apply to? That's a great question. Um, don't. Just apply. <laughs> because uh, that's obviously like a very rash answer, but um, personally, I went through a similar experience where um, I didn't really like, it wasn't a big conversation topic of PA school, and um, it kind of just... Med school was still like a thing that was like, that's going to happen though one day. Um, and so it was hard to, for me to first to accept that and then also get my parents on board in the same way. Um, so I think there's no one conversation that you can have. Um, it's kind of many conversations over time and you showing your passion for it. But if it's kind of, if it is a shorter time frame, I think explaining to them what a physician assistant is, maybe showing them a, um, a video of a physician assistant or showing them statistics of what they do or actual factual information um, and you know, finding out why they are against it, I think. Like, instead of kind of fishing for why they're against it, just ask them you know, what, what is you know, stopping you from accepting this. And then when they tell you, then they kind of open it up for you to, to kind of tackle that and say, okay, well, if that's what you're upset with, then, or if that's what you don't agree with, let's talk about it, let's see what we can get, get through. But at the end of the day, just apply. Like, you don't need parental permission on the, on the application. Um, at the end of the day, you have to live your own life, and that's something that's hard for some people. Um, as from, from a family that really cares about me and wants the best for me, I, I want to make them proud, and I want them to, to be happy where, where, for 
for what I'm doing with my life. And, you know, they came from a different country to, get, to come here to give me a better opportunity. And um, I want to use that to, the full, to its full advantage, to its full use. So it's a tough conversation. And it's a tough thing to just... No one will ever disregard their parents. Like, I, I still value what my parents will say to me um, to the highest degree. But at the end of the day, you have to live your life for yourself because um, when you're you know, 30, your parents aren't going to be like, telling you what to do or living like, you know, over your head. They'll be, you know, you'll be living your own life. And at that point, you have to, you'll look back at your decisions and say, okay, what did I do this for? Did I do it for me? Or did I do it for my parents? If you're not happy and you did it for your parents, then you know, it, it's, it's a tough thing to, to face. So might as well do what you find your love or passion or drive for. And if you end up not liking it at the end, the only person you have to blame is yourself. And that's way better than blaming your parents because, um, yeah, that's not... They've done a lot for, for you. They want the best for you, but at the end of the day, um, at this age when you're, you've gone through life and you've kind of explored all options, you usually will know what's best. And did your parents' acceptance and understanding of the PA profession change from before you went to PA school to after? Absolutely, yeah. They, uh, at, at the beginning, of course, because no one really knows what a physician assistant is, they kind of were, um, they weren't like, oh, don't do that. They, they weren't not supportive, but they just kind of weren't aware of what it is. And um, because I told them I was going to go to med school, um, they're like, oh, okay, so like, you're going to do that after then, which is, isn't their fault in any way. It's kind of something that we've, we, we agreed upon or we talked about over time. So, but after me like being in the program, I'm telling them, oh, this is what they can do. The other day I did this, like I put stitches in someone, like I've seen patients on my own, like I've been doing these things. They're like, oh, okay, so it's like an actual, you know, you are providing health care. You are doing a lot of the things that have, doctor does it's not a because like you know as we all know the term assistant comes with a certain um stereotype or a certain um perspective on on what assistant means so especially when people don't know what physician assistant is at all the, the word assistant just kind of stands out over the physician apart so um with that like over time kind of instead of seeing it as, as just the words, seeing it as the actual profession is a process and you can't blame anyone for, for going through that process. So they, they definitely over time have now, they fully support everything and you know, I owe everything to them still. Um, but yeah, they, they're happy, they are happy for me and motivate me and uh, um, are, are proud of me and I, and I feel that from them. So. It's, it's really good to have that support, and I think it's because they're understanding people, and it's, it was my kind of communication to them over time that kind of changed their perspective on the position, as it did mine, because I didn't know what it was at the beginning either, so um, it's a process for everyone, including parents. Yeah, so that's it. Those were all my questions. Okay. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you.